when you think about the the thesis behind Psych Hub, take that to the next level a little bit too. Um, because uh, you've definitely evolved to having more, you know, just than just content. You're, you're bringing in employer solutions. You're bringing in different other solutions when it comes to uh, teaching counselors, etc. Maybe touch on that a little bit as you guys progressed uh, Psych Hub. But I think what happened was when we set out, as you're right, the thesis was like, how do we train these providers? We actually call them practitioners because that's another thing. Uh, the nomenclature is all over the place, right? We ser- therapists, providers, clinicians. It doesn't matter who you talk to. Everyone has a different name. So we're sort of kind of narrowing in on calling them mental health practitioners. But, you know, we we have now really seen that when these practitioners are using this more specialized, these, these interventions. So think about it like it's a very focused treatment. Everybody wins. Actually, the client, um, the patient who gets better care, they get better care in fewer sessions, better symptom reduction. That practitioner has a lot less burnout because they're really seeing the same kind of thing. You can imagine if you're just a generalist, every hour someone new comes in, you have to figure out how to treat them. And then there's a total cost of care savings, right? Because the more, the better you get in mental health treatment, the less you kind of show up in the total health care um, kind of ecosystem. So if you start with that, we knew we knew that was a win and we knew that everybody benefits, but how do you move the needle to actually get practitioners who, by the way, have busy, you know, they have, their caseloads are full. Most of them are not so hungry for new referrals. There's plenty of need out there. Um, and it's one more thing for them to do. So like, how do you actually do it was one of the challenges that we had. And so what we decided to do was at the same time as building out a library to train them, we also built out a library to train the entire ecosystem, which is everybody else, right? Because you know that expression like informed consumers? We decided if we made informed consumers, then they're gonna get smarter about the choices. And um, and of course we didn't know that COVID was gonna happen. So that was about a year in. So that kind of fed us some luck in that people did get smarter and savvier. But so one of the things that we did is we partnered with YouTube and um, we are one of YouTube's partners for mental health and our YouTube channel now to date averages, our monthly views average about a million views a month. So we've had just millions and millions of views there. So that's really helped us get consumers to start thinking about everything we do is kind of threaded with some kind of evidence-based practice, whether it's like you're looking at what is anxiety, what is a panic attack there. Um, But then we also um, created a learning solution for employers to your question, um, because what we really found is a couple different things. One is mental health is so confusing. I mean, I've been in it my whole career. My father was a psychiatrist. So I like to say I've been in it my whole life and I'm still confused, right? So if you think about it, we've got all these different kinds of provider types. You have a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a social worker, a counselor, a coach, a peer. Then you have different diagnoses. Like what's the difference of borderline and and bipolar or schizophrenia and psychosis? And then you have these different interventions I mentioned CBT and DBT and ACT. And then you throw in all these apps and all these things. I mean, it's a lot to figure out. So with one piece of it, it's confusing. And then the other part of it is that not everybody's going to see a mental health practitioner. They're just not. Not everybody's going to go in for mental health care. So we all really need to be trained on what to do in critical moments when it matters the most. And so we put that together for employers with a series of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these short videos to kind of give someone like their own curated learning journey. So if they're interested in what is an eating disorder, we now know, because we have had so many views, they're gonna wanna see most likely what is anorexia, treatment types for anorexia, how to support someone for anorexia. So instead of someone having to go take a bunch of information, we can give them two, three minute chunks and they could create their own journey. So we do that for employers. And then we also have courses and we train them on things like what to say and do if someone might be suicidal, understanding substance use, what to do in a crisis, unconscious bias, things like that. And then we connect them to in-network care, which we can talk about. 